Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Dynamic Island um, on your iPhone Air. Okay, so you can see I have uh, the iPhone Air right here and um, it has a dynamic island here at the top and it's not only just a typical uh, camera uh, punch hole because you can click on it and you can do stuff with it. Of course, just clicking on it when it's nothing shown up here doesn't do anything. It just makes it pop for a moment. Uh, but um, there are lots of different features that you can use. Different apps support live activities and live activities are what make the a dynamic island um, a feature right so let's start off with something something simple uh, like for example when I go to clock app and I let's say let's set a timer um, to 15 minutes let's click on start now when I close the app you can see the dynamic island now displays the remaining time and what I can do is not only see the remaining time but I can also click on it to go to the app or press and hold to quickly view the remaining tab, pause or stop the timer. If I want, I can also close the live activity if I don't want it shown anymore on the dynamic island by just simply swiping to the left. The timer is still on, you just don't see the live activity anymore. Um, so yeah, this is how it works. Now, uh, if you want to bring it back just slide to the right and it's back. Uh, now I'm gonna close the timer and let's begin with something else. For example, let's start opening um, maybe the voice memos. Uh, let's click on continue. Now when I start recording a voice memo, you can see it's being recorded. And when I leave the app, it still shows me the lines with the audio and the time that I've been recording for. I can again press and hold to stop the recording. And this is how it works. Also for many, many different things, um, it will be available. Let's try doing something else. Like for example, enabling the flashlight. When I slide down from the right top part of the screen, I open the control menu. And now when I have the flashlight, flashlight right here, I can click on it. You can see now it shows up on the dynamic island. So um, I can control it. You can see the flashlights on. And when I press and hold on the dynamic island, I can change the intensity of the light. You can see that's how I can adjust it. And if I slide it all the way down, I just disable the flashlight. So I think it's a really, really good feature. Um, and um, there's also an option to, to show calls. So when someone calls you um, or you call someone and when you're on a call, you can leave that call, but still have it shown up right here on the Dynamic Island. I can't currently show you that because I don't have a SIM card installed, but you probably already know how to use the Dynamic Island. And with all the different other features, you'll see that it also works there. And you can also have multiple uh, things at the same time on the Dynamic Island. By multiple, I mean just two, but um, you can, for example, play music and music will be also shown up here. But maybe you are playing music and having a timer at the same time. Then you'll see both of them uh, on the top and you can press and hold either on the music icon or on the uh, timer icon to open the live activity of that app. Um, now, the last thing that I want to show you is screen recording. When I slide down from the top of my screen, from the right top part, of, of course, to open the control center, now I need to screen record, so I don't have that button now. I need to click on plus in the top left corner to edit the menu, then click on add a control at the bottom, and now find screen recording. Now I have added it. Now I can click anywhere to leave the editing. Now I can click on the, the on the recording. You can see it shows up on my dynamic island with the countdown. And after the countdown, it starts recording. When I want to stop recording, I can simply tap on it. 
I don't need to press and hold because there's no app for screen recording. So it doesn't matter whether I tap or press and hold, it's screen recording. Now screen recording is paused because I clicked on it. Now when I click anywhere else, it resumes. And if I want to stop screen recording, I can just tap at the top, then tap on this stop button. You can see it says recording saved to photos. It also works with maps, works with other apps, and also many different um, app designers have designed the li li live activities, like for example, for your printer, for your um, flight tickets, and other things. I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.